So the next step is to configure VS Code. So the first thing to do is to add some extensions. So come over to this area here, click extensions and search for prettier. This is the extension to install. Should only take a moment. The next extension is ESLint. Then we're going to configure the VS Code settings. So if you're on a Windows machine, file, preferences and settings. If you're on a Mac, it is code, preferences and settings. Then search for default formatter. Then this top selection menu, move into here, look down and we are going to look for prettier. There we go. Then in the search bar, format on, editor format on paste, editor format on save. And close down the settings now. And if we look at our app.js, we can see that there are a number of issues happening. The next step is to allow the auto fixable ESLint problems to be fixed on save. And so we must modify our VS Code settings further. As you can see, if I hover, we have some things that we could do. And if they are auto fixable, we want them to be done automatically. So move over to the root of the project and create a folder dot VS Code. In here, create a file called settings.json. In here, we're going to create a JSON object and input the following. In addition, the speech marks must be double. Editor.format on paste true editor dot format on save true editor dot default formatter will be ESBENP dot prettier dash VS code. Next editor dot code action on save and in here source dot fix all dot eslint true and then source dot fix all dot format true and save So now I'm going to come back to app.js, click and I'm going to save. And there we have the formatting. But as you can see when I hover, we still have some issues. One of them, missing JS doc comment. ESLint is requiring that JS doc is to be used. However, Right now, we don't want that. So we're going to have to set up some other ESLint rules. So I'm going to go to 
eslintrc.js. And in the rules section, I'm going to put in require dash js doc off as a string and then react slash react dash in dash js x dash scope off and as you can see all of those red lines have disappeared So now I'm going to have a little play and see what happens. Const my object is equal to is true true. Save as we can see within the curly braces the text is spread out automatically. We also have this ESLint rule. My object is assigned a value but never used. Again, if we add some more state, We are getting the same hover. It's declared, but it is never read. And now, if we go to noformat.js, I'm going to use the shorthand and create an app, a, a component. Create some fragments. and save no formatting again no formatting and this is because both in the prettier ignore file and the eslint ignore file I added the no format.json file. And so that's it. Thank you very much for watching the video. And please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this and look out for more interesting videos in the future. Thank you and good evening.